While Spain's Canary Islands are still recovering from devastating forest fires last month, the islands were hit by a string of earthquakes this week, including at least 10 in the space of just 24 hours. Find out the details in this video. Since Monday the 4th of September, three tremors with a magnitude of 3 or greater have rocked the surrounding area, prompting experts to look deeper into trends and evaluate risks to locals. At 4 a.m. on Monday, an earthquake measuring 3.1 on the Richter scale occurred due west of the archipelago. 20 minutes later, another earthquake measuring 1.6 struck in the Atlantic between tourist hotspot Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. Four more were recorded in the area that day before a 3.2 Richter tremor hit the populated area of El Pinar. The low-level quakes, which come as the islands are still recovering from devastating wildfires last month, have continued to buffet the region with a 3.0 magnitude event taking place in the surrounding ocean. The Canary Islands are found between the African, Eurasian, and American tectonic plates, exposing them to regular seismic activity. Areas near populated regions were reportedly affected by the tremors, according to data from Spain's Institute of National Geography. Near the town of Mogan, on Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, a tremor with a magnitude of 1.9 was recorded at a depth of 31 kilometers. It comes after Tenerife was devastated by the worst wildfires in 40 years last month. More than 15,000 hectares of woodland were destroyed within the national park surrounding the Mount Tade volcano. La Palma was also damaged by a forest fire in July that spread to destroy some 4,000 hectares of land. Around 400 firefighters, backed by nine water-dropping aircraft, were called in to fight the blaze. Amid the earthquakes this week, Canarian Weekly noted that the repetition of these seismic events in the same area could indicate a more continuous trend of activity. Local experts are investigating trends to help inform risk assessments for planning and infrastructure. Underground tectonic plates also form the archipelago's volcanic landscape, further endangering residents. In 2021, an eruption in the south of La Palma caused damage of up to 843 million euros, with lava flow prompting the evacuation of 7,000 people. More than 3,000 buildings were destroyed during the Tajagait volcanic eruption, including the entire town of Todoque. Last month, the government responsible for the island of Tenerife declared a disaster zone because of the forest fires that it controls and destroyed 15,000 hectares a month. Due to high temperatures, the fires that broke out on the Spanish island of Tenerife affected about eight natural reserves in the region, including Tade National Park, which is considered one of the most important natural reserves in Spain. The fire caused severe damage to the natural heritage of animals, plants, and landscapes in many protected areas on the island. The country went through one of the worst waves of forest fires in its history due to strong winds and high temperatures.